I have curated a list of ideas from my idea document where I store all of my coding ideas and I thought I could share them with you in this video. So I will run through all of these one by one, give a brief explanation of what I am envisioning with the idea and yeah hopefully you end up getting some inspiration for your next project and things you can build to learn coding. So the first idea I want to share is fake type racer. I actually went ahead and uh, built out this project yesterday to show off what I was thinking. So uh, yeah, this is created using React. And if you open the website, you will be greeted with a very minimal interface. And from here, it's a normal type racer. So you type the text in front of you and you will see your words per minute. Now, what makes this kind of interesting is that no matter what key you press, it's going to look like you hit the correct key. <laughs> Hence why it's called yes, fake yes. type racer. So if we compare this to something like monkey type, I think it's a good one. You might do something wrong, whatever. Now in my version, can't do nothing wrong and look at the speed. Holy shit. So <laughs> I think this could actually be kind of fun. It's sort of like hacker typer. If you've seen that, whoops. This you just mash your keyboard and it seems like you're coding really fast. So yeah, that's the first idea. Now some key concepts to get from this is state management. If you do this in React also, some logic has to be implemented to calculate the words per minute. And uh, yeah, I guess that's the first project. Okay, so my next idea is uh, a GitHub lines of code counter. So what I mean by this is that it would be super nice to have a service where you could go to any project on GitHub, take the link, and sort of paste it somewhere and be like how many lines of code are in this project. It could also maybe have some more advanced features like some graphs showing which files contain uh, the most lines and such. I think that could be very cool. Okay, next up, words per minute game I have written. I guess this is sort of just a type racer, but not fake. So yeah. Very good idea as well. Okay, then we have emoji pickers. So last fall, I actually ended up creating a project where I needed a simple emoji picker. And I found out that it really didn't exist one that fit my needs. So I went ahead and created this. But I do think that uh, if anybody else wants to create one and publish it as a package, I think uh, it could pop off. So yeah. This is my emoji picker, pretty slow, but you know what? It works, so that's very cool. Okay, then next up I have Writer NeoVim plugin. Okay, so what do I mean by this? Well, I really like this writing application called Writer and it's kind of cool because if I write something, go to the next line, I continue here, you see how the cursor is centered always and everything around the text that I'm writing is sort of faded, so it's not as distracting. I think this could be very cool as a NeoVim plugin. So if I go ahead and open NeoVim and just open a file. Yeah, I think uh, this could be very doable. In my case, I have set up NeoVim with something called send mode actually, and it sort of gives the correct effect. Also a plugin called Twilight that dims stuff but I haven't figured out how to keep my cursor centered. So for me, at least, I would really like if it existed a plugin that would just behave exactly like Writer. And uh, yeah, I think also that could kind of pop off uh, in the NeoVim sphere. So that's that project. Then in my next idea, Spotify monthly listener quiz. This is inspired by the Google higher lower game. Is that what it's called? Higher lower game. So uh, when you play this, you basically say, okay, which get the most Google searches in a month? Does kite surfing get more than the shining? 
which has 400k. I think kite surfing has more. Okay, definitely not. <laughs> Anyways, I think uh, creating something exactly like that, except that it compares monthly listeners on Spotify, would be kind of a sick project. So go ahead and uh, create that. And uh, yeah, give me credit for it, because I think this could really pop off on uh, the internet. Then next idea, Slack, who sent that message game? Uh, I guess what I'm thinking here is a Slack bot that you can ask to play play the game. It spits out uh, a message from the Slack channel and you have to guess who sent it. But saying this out loud, maybe not the best idea. But the next idea is the best idea. So there's actually a var variation of chess that's in one dimension and I think it looks super sick and I haven't really seen any internet implementations of it so I, I would really like if somebody created a website where I could play chess in one dimension. Holy shit, look at the cute cat. Okay, anyways, uh, that's my billion dollar idea, 1D chess. Next up, Minecraft pixel art. So <laughs> in my last video, I showed off the ASCII art generator that creates ASCII art out of an input image. I think it would be very doable to create a program that automatically generates images in Minecraft using blocks and whatnot. So yeah. That's probably also very fun to implement. So yeah, go ahead and create it. Next up, profile pick tester. What I'm imagining here is some sort of website where you could sort of get a mock view of your profile and you could change the picture without actually doing it and kind of see how it would appear. So I guess GitHub is not the best uh, example, but, but if you are on YouTube kind of, Imagine how the profile pic looks here and also in the comments maybe and yeah, kind of everywhere. So uh, that's that idea. I think it could be very nice. Next up, Math Scrabble. I think that explains itself. Maybe not the best idea, but uh, probably challenging and uh, you learn a lot by creating it. So that could be cool. Then we have what I would imagine is maybe the hardest thing to get working properly, a Minecraft soundbox music generator. Now I've seen the videos of people on Minecraft having created like huge replications of songs using soundboxes and there's no way people do it by hand, right? So what about creating a program that automatically generates the soundboxes to play a song in Minecraft? based on an input song. That could be so sick. The last idea is a program where you could paste code like this, for instance, paste it into the program and it would sort of character by character create a video of it being written. I think that could be really nice for people creating programming videos <laughs> like myself to kind of get a cool effect uh, going. So I guess that's it. That was all of the ideas I wanted to share today. Now, if you have any other ideas or whatever, you can leave it in the comments. People always seem interested in uh, hearing more stuff. Also, if you create any of these, it would be super sick if you shared it. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.